Hi, I'm James with the Brains Report, and today we're reviewing the Nordetrack Select Away 55 pound dumbbell set. Uh, I really like these babies. Um, over the past year, I lost about 55 pounds, and once I lost that weight, I started uh, lifting weights because I figured that would help me to keep the weight off, and uh, it has. Uh, these dumbbells are pretty much exclusively all I do for my weightlifting regimen, and they've done a great job. Uh, so I ordered them over the mail and uh, they came in a box that was placed uh, by my front door and the box was incredibly heavy because I mean these combined weigh over 110 pounds and so I ended up having to open the box which was already kind of damaged uh, in transport and there were like pieces of styrofoam all over the place um, so I, I opened it on the porch and moved in each dumbbell one at a time. Um, the, I, I'm glad I did that because the little pieces of styrofoam ended up uh, outside where it was easier to clean up rather than in my house where I could still be finding pieces of styrofoam. Cool. Uh, so the great thing about these is each weight uh, has 15 different weight selections. Um, that means you essentially are getting about 30 different dumbbells in this two dumbbell set. Uh, the weights are pretty easy to adjust. You just lift up this and move it that way or this. And you got to do it on both sides to get the weight even. And there's a little, uh, I'm going to give you a close up here in a minute, but there's a little turning dial here. Uh, where you can do micro adjustments, uh, you can do zero plus 2.5 pounds or plus 5 pounds. And it's got the weights on the side to tell you uh, what you're doing. Uh, there's a couple things I don't like about this setup. Uh, the first is if you are doing workouts with both dumbbells uh, and you want to change weights, uh, conceivably you'd have to do eight different adjustments. Uh, you'd have to adjust these on each dumbbell and also the inner dial here as well. Uh, that's kind of a lot to do. Another thing I don't like is uh, it doesn't have the it doesn't have 17.5, 27.5, 37.5 and 47.5 pounds on each one. Uh, it has the adjustment uh, by adding 2.5 pounds or 5 pounds but you can't add 0.7 or you can't add 7.5 pounds. Um, so, uh, there were some weeks where I had to make a, a bit more of a jump in, in how much weight I was lifting. Uh, but overall though, it's, it's helped me swell up. I've, I've gotten swollen. Um, I've got, yeah, lots of swelling as you can see. Uh, I've been using these for over six months now. And yeah, big fan. Uh, yeah, they're easy to adjust. They're, they're maintenance free. Um, I've haven't really done any. Uh, if you're doing a hardcore workout and you get the sweat going, um, you may want to wipe it down afterward. That's the same with any home gym equi equipment. Uh, the storage tray is awesome. Uh, I'd say it's a must. I, I only adjust the weights while this is in the storage tray. Um, otherwise, uh, I've heard of there being some accidents. Um, here, I'll kind of show you. Um, just took the weight out. Um, there have been, well, actually let's, let's put a little bit more weight on. Okay, there have been complaints where um, people will uh, try to adjust the weight with the, when it's outside the tray. And it doesn't do anything if you pull it out, but if you push in, the weight comes off and it might hit you in the balls could land on your foot. Um, if you're doing bench presses, it could land in your eye and, and bust your eye socket. Um, so I, I strongly recommend, uh, oh, I don't even know. there we go, doing, doing all the adjustments in the tray. And for the most part, uh, I have not had any issues uh, 
changing things in the tray. Uh, it's a pretty quick process. Uh, I've probably had maybe two or three times where um, I had a little issue getting it quickly. Usually it was when I have a heavy weight and then putting it down when I'm lifting the 55 pounds. Uh, which I'm going to do right now just to show you how strong I am. Oh, see? I can do it. Oh, okay, maybe I can't, but it's great because I have something to work up to. Um, another thing I noticed is uh, you've got, let me show you here. When you are lifting, uh, you've got these adjusters sticking up. Uh, at first, I would do the bench press with the uh, with it sticking down, and it would hit me in the booby, um, usually the outer booby. And after I had done that enough, uh, it left a bruise. Uh, that's not a good thing. Uh, so I started adjusting it so that the blue part isn't hitting me, and uh, my boobies have been doing a lot better. There we go. Uh, what else do I want to tell you? Um, great thing about this, minimal space requirements. Uh, as opposed to having 30 different dumbbells, you'd have to take up a good chunk of space in your home gym. This does not take up much space. You can see it all fits on my bench. Um, I'm going to take the camera off the tripod so you can get a closer look. So. I also want to point out that the warranty for this is pretty short. It's only 90 days, and uh, that's really not that long. So, as you can see, there's the weight adjustments, and you just move this dial to add um, 2.5 or 5 pounds to the weights that are listed uh, on the side there. And as you can see, this happened in transit. Um, the top came off. You can see on the other side, it's got these arrow things. Uh, the arrow things aren't really all that helpful. I already know that I need to move it back and forth. Uh, it's, it's pretty simple. So um, I didn't bother gluing it back on. Um, it's, it's just a minor piece of damage, not a big deal. Not concerned about that. Um, You've got all these warnings, um, don't misuse, don't throw them at children, wear clothing, and that too. Be pretty, pretty basic stuff, um, pretty easy to use. Uh, I figured it out within five minutes and I'm not particularly bright, so it should be easy for most people. I also wanted to show you this bench a little bit. I'm very happy with this bench. I bought the bench when I got the dumbbells and it was 95 bucks off Amazon. I'll leave a link to that. Um, it, it adjusts up to um, perpendicular to the floor so you can sit up and do uh, those types of workouts where you're, you're sitting up. I'm just going to put this back on to finish up our a little chat here. Um, while I'm doing this, uh, the current MSRP for the adjustable dumbbells here is $600. Uh, that is a lot of money. I personally would not pay $600 for adjustable dumbbells. Um, the thing is though, they are selling out. Um, they're hard to get. Uh, right now you can't get them on Amazon. Um, at Nordic Track, you there's like you have to wait weeks before it will ship. Um, it took me a while to actually get these. Um, I if if they hadn't sent me these to test, I probably would uh, buy something cheaper, look for some other option um, because I really can't afford six hundred dollar dumbbells. That said, I love these. Um, I. If a rubber man were to come into my house, I would uh, I'd come close to fighting him uh, to keep him from taking him. 
Uh, or I might just let them take them because that's going to slow them down a lot and then I can destroy them. I don't know. You decide. It also comes with a 30 day iFit trial membership, um, which I think is more to get you to addicted to iFit so that you start paying money and keep using it. Um, I've used iFit before on my treadmill. I have a Nordic Track treadmill and it's, it's awesome on the treadmill. I've, I've actually paid for the subscription there. Um, but if you're doing dumbbell workouts, I, it's like if one month is about $15, um, you could probably just do YouTube videos or something. I, and I feel like it's probably better than the iFit for dumbbells. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, I'm sure there's stuff I forgot to cover. Uh, please comment below with any questions you may have. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, we're trying to build up the channel so we can make more and better videos to serve you better. Um, so please just click the subscribe. Um, in the meantime, uh, stay swollen.